happening guys, I'm Secure D and welcome to my top 5 sneakers in film. Coming in at number 5, I'll give you a couple of hints. Tim Burton, Batman, Michael Keaton, it's the Air Trainer 3 Triple Black as worn by Batman in Batman. Uh, it's a classic looking shoe, one of my favourite cross tra trainers of all time and it perfectly matches Batman's new bulletproof suit goes down as a piece of movie memorabilia history and it was so successful that the Air Jordan 6 was later worn by Batman as well in another movie. Absolutely killer. Number 4. Personal favourite of mine. I absolutely love the Goonies. It gets super burned in my studio and when Data ripped out the slick shoes uh, when he's running away from the Fatalities, it's an absolute classic moment in film. Uh, the shoe is a Nike Sky Force High. Nothing super memorable about the shoe except for the fact that uh, it was just so had such a memorable moment in the movie. People might debate this being on the list, but it's my list, and the Goonies is definitely on there. Number three, White Men Can't Jump, Billy Hoyle, Air Command Force High. This shoe is total 90s. It's a pump shoe for a, a Nike, which is completely rare. It finally got retro last year and it had people all over the world fiending for it. It's something we'd waited a long time for and it was super cool to get. As, as memorable as the movie, some people would argue. So super cool and maybe not that comfortable these days, but a rad shoe nonetheless. Number two, I really wanted to make this number one, but when, you, when I say what this is, you'll know what number one is. So this is the Reebok Alien Stomper, made famous in Aliens as worn by Ripley. This shoe is absolutely sick. It is. A lot of people might think it's aesthetically displeasing, but I think it's a rad looking shoe, and the story behind it is even cooler. I mean, Ripley kicks ass in this shoe against arguably the scariest horror movie villain or monster of all time, and the marketing for this shoe was absolutely killer as well. The poster that came out said something along the lines of, on July 18th, Reebok will preview a shoe that you won't see for 150 years. The poster artwork's killer, the marketing was rad, you don't see them everywhere, and the fact that Reebok made a shoe for aliens is just rad. And obviously what that means is that the Nike Air Mag is number one. I, anyone who doesn't put that shoe at number one on one of these lists is crazy. Everything about this shoe is iconic. Automatic lacing, check. Lights, check. Offensively high, like the Command Force, check. Designed by Tinker, check, and coming out this year. Nike, please don't make me drop $3,000 on these shoes. They're going to be hard to find. People are going to be stepping over each other to get a pair. But the fact that they're coming out in the year that the movie was set with the automatic lacing, it's going to break the internet. People are going to be lining up for weeks. I can't wait for them, and that has to be the number one. So I hope you guys enjoyed my top five. Make sure to leave comments below if you disagree with anything I said. Subscribe, and until next time, cheers.